Hello guys and you're welcome back. Now in our last lesson we looked at the uh, Golden Retriever class and the Siberian Husky class and we just ran the uh, speak method for the uh, Golden Retriever and borrowed the uh, overrode the um, bark function right here. This bark method we overrode that for both the Siberian Husky and the uh, and the uh, golden retriever class so this time around let's just go ahead and uh, look at the uh, corgi uh, class right so so what we're going to do is to add another functionality to the corgi class we're going to add not just the uh, the name and the age we're also going to add a dog tag right because dogs have an id tag so let's just go ahead and see how we can do that now the first thing we're going to do is to override the uh, the init method right so i'm just going to say def underscore underscore init underscore underscore and i'm going to pass in the self keyword so we're going to have name we're going to have age and now we're going to have dog underscore tag so now we have three parameters the self parameter is going to be automatically called so you don't need to actually add the self parameter when you're calling the function right calling the uh, method so we have that now so what now we're going to do is to overwrite the init method for the dog class this is the init method for the dog class so we're going to tell python that look we actually have an init method but we still want to use this guy right here All right so we'll just do that so and uh, you guessed right for us to override we're going to use the super keyword and remember that thing we did we said about the uber we're just going to uber that method <laughs> i get it so that's what the overriding uh, does an overriding could just uber a method just take you to the method in the parent class and then tells you hey you know what you arrived at your location you are now using the uh, method class so now what i'm going to do is to add the dog underscore tag and set it to dog underscore tag so it means i'm adding it right now so i didn't need to do self.name <clears throat> sorry guys i didn't need to do self.name equals name and self.age equals age because i'm actually overriding that uh, method right so the new one i'm using is self.dog tag and i want the self.dog tag to appear right so that's super great and now let's overload these methods so i'm just going to say dev bark so i'm going to pass in self and i'm going to say sound equals uh something like that yep so now that i've done that i'm just going to uh, return you guessed right i'm ubering the method that exists in the parents class S P E A K. So I'm just going to see sound. It's actually nice to look at that. So this is the method that I'm actually going to use right here right, in my uh, Corgi uh, class. So and then for my str, I'm just going to say def underscore underscore str underscore underscore. I'm going to pass in self just to have access to the properties and methods that exist in that class and i'm going to return so now I use pretty printing so i'm going to return the self.name right so i'm just going to say the name of the dog is so 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 years old with the dog tag so 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 value so i'm just going to say self dot age is so i'm just going to say years old with let's see a dog tag and then we're going to pass in that uh, variable so self dot i think it's self dot uh, dog underscore tag and then we'll close that now note you can all, you can even do this you can just put this in a uh, parentheses in case you feel comfortable doing this python is not going to complain and you're going to get the uh, same uh, results 
right so now that we've created the dog uh, corgi instance let's just go ahead and call an instance of the uh, corgi class all right so what we're going to do is to say corgi is equal to now you can you don't actually necessarily have to use the same name for the corgi class we could just call it uh, whatever we want but this is an object actually right and then we're going to call the class name and then pass in the arguments of the name so I'm going to call him heat seeker because he can find you he can find you wherever you are like everybody in the neighborhood they know corgi like you know he don't he don't play around he's gonna get you you know what I'm saying so now we're gonna say doggo underscore four five five and let's just go ahead and print corgi and I don't want to see this result so I'm just gonna comment this out with the uh, ash symbol and let's see what we have so heat seeker is two years old with dog tag doggo underscore four five I don't think tags have this let's just let's just make this like like yeah it's making it double underscore four five five because he looks like a super uh, badass double seven kind of dog you know and he can seek you out and take you out and then he has this uh james bond tie with some glasses and a mustache yeah heat seeker yeah our dog heat seeker dun, 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 dun. so uh yeah so we've seen how we can uh, create a dog class override and overload the init method we've created another corgi class and we've actually um, created another extra variable we don't have initially called the dog tag and we've created a badass dog called corgi and we printed his results so in the next lesson we're going to look at some other things we could do with an object once we've created it and uh, see you in the next lesson